Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about um, Storm Christoph which has been named by the Met Office for the potential for some very heavy rain especially across parts of Wales and Northern England uh, so let's get into that now. So if I show you here we have many warnings in a force throughout the UK over the next few days and if I just go through them one by one so we get a better idea of what's going on. Uh, first we have this headline amber warning uh, of rain which is valid from 6 a.m today until 12 o'clock on thursday so it's valid for quite a long time and heavy rainfall combined with snow melt is quite likely to some um is quite likely for some flooding and you can see we could potentially see some deep flood water that could cause some damage if you look at what sort of uh, rainfall totals we could expect, potentially 150 to 200 millimetres in most exposed areas. So probably particularly around this area where we've got high ground, uh, we could see some quite high rainfall totals. And I also think across parts of northern Wales as well, we could see these totals, um, but the impact probably not be as great as in this area. We also have rain warning surrounding that. So this rain warning we have uh, up to 200 millimetres also like across parts of Wales, northwest England, with 30 to 60 millimetres widely. We also have this rain across Northern Ireland um, and parts of Northern England and Southern Scotland as well, for 20 to 30 millimetres widely, um, with 30 to 50 millimetres over hillier ground, but also um, potentially some snow uh, down to 100 to 200 metres or 300 to 400 metres, potentially, um, potentially 2 to 5 centimetres um, above 200 to 300 200 to 300 meters sorry and then we also have this ice warning here where we could see some icy patches in some areas if we then move through the day this is wednesday we now have a new rain warning for the south of england where we could see uh widely 20 to 30 millimeters uh, with 40 to 50 50 millimeters in parts of southwest england and along the south coast uh also potentially 70 70 to 100 millimetres over parts of maybe Dartmoor, Exmoor, those kinds of um, higher exposed western facing areas. Um, and that could possibly get upgraded to an amber warning, but uh, right now I'm not really sure uh, if that's going to happen. And then we also have a new rain warning for, uh, a new warning, yellow warning for snow uh, for southern Scotland, uh, northern England as well, which some areas could get a few centimetres, perhaps even 20 to 30 centimetres above 400 metres, which is quite impressive. And I will go through that in a bit with these models. Um, and it does look like there could be quite a lot of snow here. And I, to be honest, wouldn't be completely surprised if there was an amber warning upgraded to this. If I show you now the surface pressure charts from the Met Office, um, you can see here that we essentially have uh, a low pressure system moving in like this. And it's quite an elongated low pressure system, as you can see here. This whole area uh, is kind of like the center of it. Um, then with, with what, like one, two, uh, even three uh, subs, like mini centers in that. And you can see uh, with this kind of setup, we have a lot of fronts, which generally tend to move like this kind of, uh, parallel to the isobars and those kinds of setups generally get quite a lot of rain and as you can see if I move through this um, then we have this low move in like so let me, sorry, let me just select the pen we have this low uh -oh, uh, we have this low move in like so and dump quite a lot of rain as you see through here but then something interesting starts to happen uh, notice here what starts to happen is that the low starts to kind of uh, shift southwards and that also brings the heaviest rain into more southern areas also we then get the colder air on the northern side of it and if you go through you see that by um thursday we have a northerly flow with fronts on the back edge so this could potentially be um sleet or snow um, and that's why we've got those warnings and then uh that low clears away and then by, by Thursday, we're almost in a full northerly flow, as you can see here. And this is quite a deep low. We can see some strong northeasterly or northerly winds um, with some very cold air and potentially quite a lot of snow. And then I just picked up the chart um, to say that there is currently the potential and it's not it's not certain or really there are, there's quite a lot of things to hammer down but there is a slight trend in the models that we could potentially see what we call a channel low which is a low pressure system moving through the english channel and what we'll have is we'll have cold and northerly winds um and combined with some potential fronts we could see a possible snow event during saturday for some parts in the south but there is a lot um uh, that we need to firm up on that idea Okay, 
if we run through this model that I've run, this is the UK view as a model, um, and I'll just go from the beginning. This is chart on the right and rain on the left. Uh, you can see here by Wednesday morning, we're expecting some quite showery, but also heavy rain, especially across parts of Wales, with um, mild temperatures around 10 or 11 degrees, especially across England, the southwest Wales as well. And you can see that rain comes a bit more organised, potentially quite heavy, uh, quite a heavy pulse moving through the south there. Uh, and then showery, but sometimes intense rain starting to move through parts of uh, Wales, northern England, that amber warning area. And then notice that this front kind of starts to intensify a little bit and we get um, we get this uh, intensification of the rainfall, as you can see here, and that will kind of swing around like so, um, like this, and this could bring um, some fairly uh, heavy rain for a time across parts of England and Wales, and then the interesting thing starts to happen where this is that, that cold front right here, um, this is that cold front coming in like this, and we get the cold air bumping into this precipitation, and we could potentially see some sleet or snow uh, going on. As you can see, you can clearly see the cold right here, uh, right along here, moving like this, with a clear boundary between cold weather um, right here and the mild weather here. Almost a difference of about four or five degrees, which is quite crazy, and it's definitely not hard to see on that map. And then this, this continues to clear eastwards, um, and then we also do have possible snow uh, there as well. And if I just go to precipitation type um, and I clear those, you can see here we do have a potential for quite a um, quite a dumping of snow, especially uh, I think the current area looks northern England, southern Scotland. And if we look at some potential uh, potential potential uh, snow depths, we could see quite a few centimetres in some places and this model even though it's over high ground uh, we could actually see potentially of up to uh, 30 centimetres or more over the highest grounds of parts of southern Scotland and northern England and then we added on these potential showers as well we, some areas could see quite a lot of snow. Now I'm going to change this model run and I'm going to show you what I was just um, talking about talking about with that potential snow threat on Saturday and you can see if I show you the general weather regime we have cold air coming in like this uh, let me just turn that off um, to this first to the latest model run so we have cold air coming in like this and then notice we have this tiny little um, but pretty intense low and if I show you some of the forecast um, the forecast precipitation uh, there we go. You can see, oops, sorry, uh, and there we go. You can see that it would be quite an intense um, spell of uh, rain transitioning then to sleet and snow. And as you pour through that, you can see that parts of central and southern England do, if this forecast was to pull off, um, get quite a dumping of snow. And that also continues and it ends up with parts of, um, parts of the UK, especially a small um, a small area in central southern England getting a very deep um, covering and this is just one model but we could see potentially quite an intense spell of snow and there is a lot of uncertainty this is just one model there are many more models to look at um, but that's the snow threat over now I'm going to continue with this rain threat so this is that current uh, this is the current rainfall radar you can see already a band of rain um pushing like this that's already got that um yellow warning of rain for um scotland and northern ireland you can see we have more generally showery rain showery rain pushing through parts of england and wales and then we're going to get some a bit more intense stuff through the night um and now if we look at some potential forecast accumulations these are all by um by about thursday uh, and you can see here the definitely your attention is drawn to parts of Snowdonia, North Wales, also the Brecon Beacons. But generally in Wales, quite a wet, um, quite a wet uh, area. This is probably going to be where the wasp is, where you're widely 50 or more millimetres. Also down in parts of the southwest and along the south coast and also um, into parts of the southeast as well. And then I guess again across England more widely and parts of northwest England as well. If we this model, basically the same thing, just a little 
less detailed. We see that highlight over the moors in the southwest, also along parts of the south coast um, into the southeast. And then we have those the, high, the worst affected regions probably across parts of Wales, Snowdonia, the Brecon Beacons, and then also parts of into the Lake District and northwest England as well. And then one more model, which is showing pretty much the same thing, except a bit more widely over northwest England and less over the southeast. But this time, uh, fairly widely, quite a lot of rain over Wales, this time extending a bit further north into parts of Scotland as well. Um, and generally with these kinds of setups you you always tend to see these areas seeing the the worst rain because so you have when we have a southwesterly a moist southwesterly flow like that then we have the rain being pushed uh, the moisture being pushed up over the hills and mountains forced to um forced to cool condense and produces a lot of rainfall but also bear in mind that some of this um in the northern half could potentially be snow as well we do already have a lot of flood warnings out across parts of the UK. You can see we have 22 flood warnings and a 161 flood alert. And you can see they're really all over the place, but where they're already um, focused across parts of northern England. And I mean, the five day risk is quite significant. We do have a medium risk um, of flooding across northern England, uh, northwest England here, and that gets a bit further south into parts of central southern England as well. And by Wednesday and Thursday, we really have done all of England and Wales under these, and that, with that flooding threat potentially persisting through Friday into Saturday as well. The general theme is very, very wet with Storm Christoph bringing some very wet weather. Totals of possibly up to 200 millimetres in the most exposed locations for Wednesday, th for, th for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And then potentially seeing a colder, um, potentially even snowy, snowier weather um, from um, Thursday beyond. Thank you everyone for watching and have a nice evening. Bye.